we're going to get to the business of the Super Bowl. Ads as big as the game. Michelle Steele is standing by with Sean McManus. He's the president of CBS Sports and CBS News. Michelle? Hey, Sean, thank you so much uh, for taking time out today. I want to talk, of course, about the business of Super Bowl. The ads are basically as big as the game. Mm -hmm. How much more did you get this year? How much did you get for a 30-second ad? And how much more did you get than in 2007, the last time that CBS aired the Super Bowl? Um, I can't give you exact figures, but we got a lot more than 2007. We got a lot more than NBC got last year, both in terms of the average price and in terms of the total revenue generated on Super Bowl Sunday. Uh, we're the beneficiaries of the fact that the uh, NFL ratings have been so unbelievably strong this year and the fact that, quite frankly, the ad marketplace is a lot stronger than it was last year at this time. Right. And NBC said it generated $206 million this year, so you obviously generated more than that. As far as ads go, there are 13 Super Bowl ads. Ad virgins, mm -hmm. so to speak, right. uh, more than in 2008 and 2009. Why demand from first timers? I think part of it is that the ratings for NFL football have been so strong this year, and we went to the ad marketplace a lot earlier than we normally would because of the state of the economy. And I think people are realizing more and more every single year that if you want to reach a particular audience and a huge audience, one of the most efficient ways and the best ways to do that is to advertise in the Super Bowl. So, I mean, I'm encouraged by the fact that there are so many new advertisers. Plus, we've got, I think, six car companies. Companies in there, and we look at the state of uh, the automobile industry in this country. The fact that there are six car companies, I think four or five of whom are foreign car companies, I think speaks really um, speaks well to the fact that we've sold out so well. I want to talk about those car companies a little bit. The domestic automakers, obviously, sitting in the si on the sidelines here mm -hmm. in a major way. What is demand been like? They were the big sponsors for the pregame, postgame shows. What is demand been like for those for those shows from an advertising point of view? Well, I think the foreign car companies have looked at this as an opportunity. Quite frankly, the fact that the, the domestic car companies are not as dominant in sports or as dominant in pro football this year. I think the foreign car companies are saying this maybe is a really good opportunity for us and they've grabbed that opportunity in the Super Bowl. So foreign automakers really stepping up here and filling that void, so to speak. Uh, let's talk about CBS News as well. You know, job cuts there uh, hey, recently. My, my, other, my other job, you mean, my news yes, job. Your, your, yes, okay. your day job, perhaps? Yeah, my day job. A anyway, uh, job cuts there. What does that yeah. say about coverage at CBS News? Are you, are you lessening the scope of coverage? Do you think that's going to inhibit coverage? Uh, I do not. Um, I will say that we are going through what every single media company in the world is going through, um, adjusting to a changing marketplace. Um, I never like to use the word minimal because we are talking about people People's lives, but um, uh, relatively speaking, when we have 1,500 employees as we do at CBS News, the amount is relatively small. It's not going to affect our commitment to news. It's not going to affect the quality of our coverage, which I think over the past couple of years has been extraordinary. So I, I hate the fact that we're doing it, but it's not going to lessen what we're doing at CBS News. Okay, and very, very quickly here, the Masters over uh, coming up in April. How are you going to promote it? Obviously maybe not going to be able to use mm -hmm. Tiger this year. Tell me about that a little bit. Well, we're going to promote the golfers who are there. And if Tiger is there, he'll be part of our promotional campaign. And if he's not, he won't. Obviously, we'll discuss Tiger and his absences if he's not there. And hopefully, if he is there, he'll be in the leaderboard. So that'll be, I think, uh, an amazing story for CBS uh, Sports if he is there. And if he's not, it'll be a story also. All right. We'll check it out. And I imagine you're going to be going to the game on Sunday. So we'll see you there. Uh, Sean McManus, CBS Sports and CBS News.